Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're talking about the Anko Professional Gaming Microphone. Yep, this is it here. Well, actually, this is just the box. The microphone is just out of shot right there, and I'm actually experimenting by recording this video with this microphone, as well as my normal microphone. So, if it goes badly, we won't find out about it until the editing stage. This microphone's pretty similar to this one, which I have here, which I covered a couple of weeks ago. There are some slight differences though. Obviously the professional set has the boom arm, the wind filter and the pop filter, which is great. Oh, and there's also the shock mounting, which is really handy if anything is vibrating around you or you accidentally bump something, or later when I'm using it to record and I'm actually working on a computer on the desk in front of me. Hopefully that will be really handy for isolating the sound and better than this dinky little stand. Otherwise, the microphones are technically basically exactly the same. Although, interestingly enough, this one has a micro USB socket, whereas this one has a full-size USB-B socket. And a quick plug if you want to know more about the different USB ports, see our episode up here. Lots of people seem to love it. The technology in the two microphones is basically identical. Although this one doesn't have the audio out that the cheap one has interestingly enough. Although, when I say the cheap one, the one I did a couple of weeks ago, I think was $25. This is only $39. There's not a huge price difference between the two at all. And it's starting to look to me like it's going to be well worth the upgrade. I mean, if you don't need the giant extending arm, then you don't need it. But if you want to have a microphone set up that you can move around a little bit and then push out of the way when you don't need it, it's really very handy. I mean, it's great. I can just pull it down like this. I have to adjust a few things. But really, I don't want it sitting there. So I kept it up out of the way. I'm doing my best to use the time that I've got during this the sixth lockdown here in Victoria to make this channel better for you. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with the mic that I normally use. I've actually realized that it's probably the camera that's the biggest issue. My StarTag mic is plugged directly into the camera, which I believe has a rather noisy input, which is probably what's been responsible for all of the background noise you've heard in older videos. Because this mic has a USB output, I have to plug it into a device that records it and then mix it back in with the video when I'm editing it, which again is another step. So far, simplicity has trumped quality, but we're trying to move towards better quality as well. With the limited space I have available, I'm doing the best I can. But if you have some feedback for me, let me know in the comments below, please. That would be awesome. I finally managed to get this mic because it came back into availability at Kmart, so I immediately snapped one up as soon as I saw it. So hopefully this sounds great and you really like the audio in this video. Question of the day. Can you see yourself using a microphone like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this episode was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.